Hey guys, I'm just talking from babysitting, so it's just going to be a bit rushed. And since no one wanted to talk about the Olympics because they said they didn't know much about them, I will tell you some of the top events, happenings, that I've noticed. We are tied with China for a total number of medals. However, they are technically in first because they have more gold than we do. Michael Phelps, who I'm sure everyone has heard of, has now become the most decorated Olympian athlete of all time. He has 19 medals now, which is a lot. Of medals. <laughs> United States gymnast Jordan Weaver didn't qualify for all round individual because of the stupidest rule ever. There is a rule that says only the top two gymnasts for each country can get into the finals. So even though Jordan Weaver did better than people in other countries, she didn't do better than the two other Americans, therefore she didn't make it to the finals. Ridiculous. She did, however, help the team go on to win gold in team all round. Great Britain has broken their record for number of medals with help from the women's rowing team. That was this morning, actually. And best news of all is that Great Britain has a gymnast by the name of Jennifer Pinches, who happens to be a nerd fighter. If you've come into contact with any of John during social media sites today, then you know this. However, I just think it's really awesome that in front of the whole world, on the Olympic stage, nerd fighter sign. That is the best thing. And she apparently got to meet Alex Day somehow in that, according to Twitter, they were talking. That is the best thing ever. As John Dreen said, the biggest thing since we had a nerd fighter in the National Spelling Bee. And this is on a way bigger stage. NBC is doing a terrible job of covering. They cut out a whole 7-7 memorial that was in the Olympic ceremony from television because it didn't go with the American audience. What? Not a good move. Anyways, you should all watch the Olympics. It's great fun. Don't watch things you're not interested in. Like, I don't watch swimming because it's boring and the things I want to watch are never on TV, like archery, so. London2012.com will give you all of the results and everything as well as like athlete bios and all sorts of cool things. You should keep up with the Olympics. Hope you're having a good summer, and I will see you next week. Also, Catherine, I was never that eloquent as a child, and your poetry is pure genius.